Hi, I am Dana, and this summer I've been working with Serhat and Saijo in this project, which is called Geochemical Investigation of Lake Sala, Turkey, with application to the Zero Crater on Mars. So at first, on air, because of the interaction between the atmosphere and the surface water, the CO2 can react with water and generate carbonic acid, bicarbonate, and carbonate trioxide. These species react with other ions that are in water and precipitate minerals, which are called carbonates. Now, if we think about the early Mars, there was water on the surface and greenhouse effect gases in the atmosphere as CO2, then the carbonates will precipitate too. However, carbonates on Mars are not common. Why? Well, at first, Mars will need more greenhouse effect gases to keep the surface warm enough to have liquid water in the past. But with high values of partial pressure of CO2 in the atmosphere, the pH decrease and the carbonates cannot precipitate because this will increase the amount of carbonic acid in the water and this will generate that the reforation the equilibrium, the reaction moves to the right and inhibit the precipitation of the carbonates because of the Chatelier principle. To prove that and quantify how much CO2 we need to inhibit this precipitation, we consider data from Lake Salda because it is a good terrestrial analog of the ancient lake that we've seen exist in the past on the zero crater on Mars, where some proof of carbonates have been identified too. And then we have to analyze the pH changes and the minerals that precipitate. We didn't start with Lake Salda water composition because it is chemically complex, so we start with seawater composition to better understand how the evaporation process works on the software and then use the lake salda composition. This plot is from the seawater composition and in the x-axis you can see the partial pressure of the CO2 and in the y-axis you can see the pH. And as you can see, when you have higher values of partial pressure of CO2, the pH becomes more acid. However, we discover something else and it's that after evaporation, the pH seems to decrease too. So we think that probably more processes are involved in this innovation. Thank you.